What do you do when your eczema decides to flare up? Hey there, CC Cheney here, and today that's what we're talking about. I'm sharing three things that you must do if you, like me, are suffering from a bit of an eczema flare up. So it's winter time, and weather is changing. It's colder outside, and this is a time when many, many, many of us suffer from eczema. I was actually reading an article this morning that said 31.6 million Americans suffer from eczema so I am not alone and you are not alone but I mean it's a pretty miserable experience am I right or am I right right so here's the reality you start to get a little bit of a rash you start to itch it starts to burn right and it's painful and it gets worse right so what do you do when you have an eczema flare-up so that you can get some relief right so I actually I'm struggling right now. I've got a flare-up going on, and it's around my eyes. You can kind of see I've got, like, the little wrinkles happening, which really blows having itchy eyelids, right? Um, but uh, this is not my first rodeo. I have been struggling with my eczema for years since I was a kid. In fact, when I was in uh, middle and high school, it got so bad that it used my skin used to crack and weep right, meaning that it would be wet, and it was so painful, it is so painful, and it is something um, that I wish I never had to deal with, but right, it's not something that we can necessarily control, although there are some lifestyle things that we can do, but if you're someone who is dealing with the flare-up, and you're like, what do I do to manage this itchy, painful uh, struggle, <laughs> Today I'm sharing with you three things that you can do, right? Because we can get some relief, okay? Now the first thing is really important and that is taking a shower in lukewarm water. Here's what I know, right, from personal experience. Hot water is like the equivalent of, of scratching, right? It feels so good. It allows you to get rid of that itchy feeling uh, without scratching. So you're like, yes, yes. And you feel like you're doing something that's not as bad as scratching. Here's the reality. When you're in the hot water, you are stripping your skin of the moisture, which makes it worse, right? So if you're gonna if you're gonna use hot water, you need it needs to be in and out. It needs to be really quick. The answer though is to use lukewarm water. Do the best that you can with water that's not going to strip your skin and do not stay in there too long, okay? So that is tip number one. Now tip number two, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Like have you used the soak and seal principle? Let me know if this is something that you've used um, for your eczema. But I think it's really important that we practice this one, right? So one of the things that the article I was reading this morning shared is that when you're dealing with a flare up, you want to avoid lotion, right? Because it's usually too thin and not as moisturizing and opt for um, creams, right? Or balms, like something that's thicker so that you get uh, more moisture sealed in. The other thing that you can use is oils. I use a body oil on my trunk. I use a, a cream on my face and hands. So whatever works best for your body. Some people swear by coconut oil, so that might work for you. Coconut oil does not work for me. Coconut oil dries my skin out, especially when I have eczema so i do not use <laughs> i do not use coconut oil but you might have to test to see how your skin works i actually use a, a body oil that's like a moringa base so it has lots of vitamins and nutrients in there to help nourish my skin so you know find what works best for you when it comes to the moisture but again avoid the lotions and go for the thicker creamier balms and the thick oils um, or coconut oil if that works better for you right so what is the soak and seal principle? If you're not familiar with this, this is basically you hop in the shower or you wash your hands or whatever it is with the water. You hop out and you pat dry, right? We don't want to, the other tendency, right? We're itching. We don't want to be like technically rubbing our skin, trying to get the itches, right? You pat dry, but not all the way dry. You keep your skin slightly damp. And within three minutes, right? Three minutes of um, the, the dampness, you want to apply that heavy cream, that balm, um, to seal in the moisture. So leave your skin slightly damp, seal in the mo moisture with the heavy cream so that you can get that moisture in, okay? If you're using hot water, that's especially import important, okay? That's tip number two. And the last one, which is, is so important, 
Uh, especially if you're someone who has contact dermatitis, which is another word for eczema for those of us who have reactions to things, which is probably what this girl is dealing with, if I'm being really honest with you. Um, I know I took a shortcut that probably <laughs> caused me some of my own uh, problems. Uh, and that is to avoid chemicals and fragrances in your products, right? So the article I was reading today said, you know, you might even want to um, skip or reduce how much soap that you're using, right? And I know it's like really hard because we love the smell of our body washes, but you want to make sure that you are not causing more irritation from the fragrances and the chemicals in your product. So they say use soap sparingly, avoid dyes and scents, which can cause you to have even more problems. Okay, so those are three tips to help you deal with the eczema flare up. And I know how painful that can be. Trust me. I'm there. Um, if you are someone who's suffering, you're struggling with your eczema and you'd like some additional uh, tips on things that you can do, send me a message. I've got four more tips for you that can help you deal with your eczema flare-up so that you can get the relief that I know you're desperately wanting. So that's what I have for you today. Otherwise, I will chat with you tomorrow. Ciao.